Hello, Hero Factory fans. This is Eli J. Brown slash Eli J. Brony here with another creature mock for the Hero Factory series. This is the Shadow Bat. The Shadow Bats are bat-like creatures that live on the uh, planet where the Hero Factory is, and they are naturally peaceful living creatures that don't uh, normally harm civilians, and they only come out at night, just like bats in the real world only come out at night. However, during the brain invasion, I know that it's been a year since that series came out, but I still like to make mocks for series of past, um, and I just wanted to <laughs> just use this mask for something. I know that it doesn't fit on perfectly well with the evil brains of the series, but I will show you a special technique that I've done with it after I go over what exactly I did to uh, make this. Now this started off just from looking at the parts of my bin, just trying to figure out what to do with them, and I just started putting them together. And this was the end result. And you probably are wondering, what are these things supposed to be doing on the uh, feet? Well, I'll actually get into that. You see, one of the uh, sockets in these feet actually were uh, broken off. So I will show you that. Uh, right now, is it this foot that... Uh, no, I think it's actually... Good. Oh. Well, you see, uh, the foot over here is actually just fine. This is... Well, you couldn't even see it, right? This piece right here is just in there for... Well, just to make it symmetrical, because it just is awkward to see... Uh, one of those uh, pieces on one foot, but not on the other one. Now, here's the bad foot. Here's the bad foot right here. The the, the axle piece that was supposed to connect to there is just broken off, so in order to get that in use, I just did that. Just connect that piece right there, did that right there, then just insert this Right, whoa, that was not supposed to happen. Uh, just right there. That was how it is done. Now I did have plans on buying more parts off of Bricklink to actually complete this, though some parts were actually purchased off of Bricklink exclusive for this, but I then just figure out some other ways of putting the parts on together, and I basically, since this is supposed to be a bat, I needed to have these wings here. I didn't think that I had these wings that I needed. It probably would have been better if they were the black ones, but I think I much would rather use the silver ones instead. And I know it might be a bit awkward for a bat to have hands, but hey, this is a mutated, uh, Shadow Bat, this is not how a Shadow Bat would normally look, it's just what one would look like when an evil brain is under its control. And I did use the Invasion From Below main chest armor piece because I could. And now I'm gonna tell you about um, how I got the, the mask to fit well with the uh, evil brain on there. With, well, with a special tip. If you just uh, put the evil brain onto the uh, Brain Attack series uh, headpiece and then just put the uh, well, this mask on right here, um, I think that's supposed to be Vampra. If you just put it on there, the eyes of the evil brain will not line up with the eyes of the uh, mask. But I did figure out some special way and I'm going to show you that right now. I put a half-size bushing onto the socket piece 
of the evil brain, and that lifts the brain up a bit, so the eyes are now, um, now, uh, in line with the mask. The mask is slightly off, um, if you can, uh, see right there, it's kind of just a half size out, and you could try to push the mask in, but it doesn't work, but yeah, at least it won't fall off, at least it hasn't fallen off uh, yet when I didn't want it to. I've done all sorts of different experiments, one idea was maybe to just have the, just accept the fact that the eyes don't line up. Or some other ideas would be, well, I've actually tried an idea where I took a Exoforce hand and took those half-size, uh, two whole lift arm plates and put those onto here, but that didn't work out so well. I've also tried using those types of pieces to lower the mask a bit, but it ended up becoming too low. But eventually, I just figured out that special ability. So that is it for the Shadow Bat. I don't know if I will do any more uh, creatures for the Brain Attack series. This might be the last one that I will do, but you just never know. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again in my next video.